sound yep. fishy, <laughs> but this really is one colossal calamari. Wow, the Discovery Channel says it caught a monster squid on video in its natural habitat for the very first time ever. Right now, we only have these still pictures for you. Japanese scientists spotted it about nine miles east of Chichi Island in the northern Pacific. They say it's up to 26 feet long. Look at that which is the length of four Kobe Bryants, or most <laughs> of the length of a standard school bus. Can you believe the size of that thing? It's a very big squid. Yeah. A very, very big squid. That is in And fact the first true. time caught in its natural habitat. We are so excited about this. We love big squids. <laughs> You're on Early Start. Big squids are the official calamari, giant actually. sea creature <laughs> of Early Start. All right, the rain just won't quit in Texas today. Meteorologist Alexander Steele <laughs> with more on the threat of flooding there. Help me out, Alexandra. Uh, you know, the first picture of a giant squid dates back to the 1800s. So it's the stuff of myth and legends. It's yes, been around it for a very long time. And so we've had pictures, but never video, live video in its natural habitat. And supposedly, it's the largest fish or reptile with the biggest eyes the size of plates. And, so and how do been, you know so much about this, Alexander? Because Just, I was supposed to do the story, so I know <laughs> I, I studied for an hour. You can ask me anything. Oh, it's wonderful. tentacles, it's sucking, what it teeth do. <laughs> I know everything. I've never known so much about a squid in my life. Oh, wonderful. So just share details throughout the morning. Thank you. Okay, I'll just pepper them out. <laughs> yes. All right, well, let's talk also about the weather story. Release the Kraken. Check out these amazing pictures. It is the thing of myths and legends, the giant squid, captured on film in its natural habitat for the first time ever. This is from the Discovery Channel and Japanese public broadcaster NHK. Now, this squid is believed to be up to 26 feet long and was found in the Pacific Ocean some 3,000 feet below the surface. So we want to bring in Richard Ellis. He's a research associate at the American Museum of National History. He is the author of The Search for the giant squid. All right, this thing is big, <laughs> as in really big. Now, we knew that these giant squid existed before, but still, this is being seen as something special, as a breakthrough. Explain to me why. Because no one's ever seen one alive before. This is absolutely the first time anyone has ever seen these things alive. People have been searching for them for hundreds of years, literally, not with the technology of today, but they wash ashore and people know that they exist, but no one's ever seen a live one. They're always dead when they wash ashore. Uh, well, and also in, in its natural habitat, that's what makes this so unique and so different because we have video back from 2006, a squid was alive, but it was hooked and on the surface. In this case, it's in the abyss. You traveled a long distance to see this in its natural habitat. What are we gonna learn from this particular footage that we were not able to learn before? We're gonna learn how the thing moves how it swims, what it does with its arms when it swims. You can't tell either from a one washed ashore or from the one that was hooked. By the way, the guy who hooked it is the same guy who saw it ah. under the so, ocean. What an exciting discovery for him. So we said huge. I mean, these things are just simply enormous. They're like what, like four, four Kobe Bryant oh, stacked on top of each we, other? We have a comparison here for you guys so that you can see exactly what this thing looks so like. So four Kobe Bryant's, a school bus, and that's, that's a 26-foot squid. They can get even bigger than that. They can get to be 60 feet long. That's a lot so, of school buses. I mean, what do we know about them? Solitary things live, at, you know, in the vast deep sea? They live in, at great depths. We know that. We've always known that. Um, because no one ever sees them except when they're dying at the surface. Um, what we know about them is that they are a very, very exaggerated version of smaller squid. I mean, there's a lot of different kinds of squid. This one just happens to be the biggest. And it, because it's the first time anybody's ever seen one alive, it is an enormous breakthrough for science and for mythology of all things, because for a long time people didn't even think they existed. And talk about that, about the importance of that, because this is like legends, right, and myths. That's normally what we equate to this giant squid. Originally, people yeah. thought there was something called a kraken, which was a giant octopus-like creature that grabbed ships and ate people and did horrible things. But until we actually see one alive, we're not really sure what they can do. Now we know. Now we know what this actual animal can do. We've seen it at work. We've seen it attacking something, and it changes everything. It changes everything about deep-sea biology. It changes everything about what we know about these large cephalopods. We, we've seen so many of this. 
sketches of these giant squids attacking ocean-going vessels from hundreds of years ago. Obviously, it seems like that might be a little bit far-fetched, but this thing is so big. And in, in the pictures we're seeing of this, it's missing two of its, its arms or tentacles, right? It has eight arms and two very, very long tentacles, which it uses to grasp its prey. It uses the two tentacles for that, then it wraps it up in its arms, brings it back to its mouth. It has a beak like that of a parrot, only a whole lot larger and it takes bites out of the prey with that beak but until we saw one alive we never knew how this whole operation worked you knew what what it looked like when it was dead it's this big blob with long arms that lives on the <laughs> In the, somewhere in the ocean, and then washes ashore. But this is so exciting for those of us. I wrote a whole book called The Search for the Giant Squid. In the whole book, we didn't find one. It's wow. all about how we were looking for this animal. And now, my book is a little bit obsolete, but still, it's an exciting, exciting discovery. Or Richard Ellis, you have us all excited. There's a giant squid, and now we can see video of Hooray! it. Hooray! Congratulations. <laughs> we're delighted that you came to share your experience with us. Thank Appreciate you. it. All right, it is 53.